are you guys? This is Nina, and you are listening to Love and Other Problems Podcast. Please like, share, and subscribe. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. I am also uh, doing a YouTube podcast at the same time, and I am counting down my top crazy stories of 2019. Now we will be moving on to part two. This is quite a long list. This one definitely, definitely um, caught me by surprise the way it actually um, happened. So our number five big shocker was none other than Carmelo Anthony, the well-known NBA player. And I was actually very upset about why this trended and how crazy uh, this incident got. So let's just run you guys through some details here. Carmelo Anthony and Lala Anthony. Literally, they've been together for a very, very long time. Well over, what, 15 years, almost 15 years? At least. And let me tell you guys, the way he did her, when he got caught cheating, I found to be probably... One of the most repulsive stories. Now, as it goes, if you guys don't remember this, uh, Carmelo Anthony was in Europe. And he was pictured on a lovely yacht with the woman that is clearly not his wife. Now, he actually came out. And basically did a statement about, oh my God, I can't believe this. You guys are trying to ruin a happy household. I would never do this to my wife. Come and find out, of course. People always find a way to figure stuff out. Uh, He really was cheating. Surprise, surprise. Even a lie he said that, I couldn't believe this one. I believe he said something like her husband was on board with them and she's outside dressed like (laughs) Look, I I don't even want to get into it. This story actually really um, bothered me a lot. Um, And he was just so fragrantly cheating on Lala as if uh, he wasn't even married. And it really, really did. Uh, bother me a lot and even with this scandal he's not even uh the top (laughs) so here is our number blue face blue face is a rapper caught in his own scandal earlier in 2019 when he was captured on video having a huge huge fight with none other than his mother and sister. Now you guys can Google this on your own. I'm definitely not going to post the video in this, but I did see it. And, you know, it was very sad the way he was yelling, pushing his sister. He threw them out of his house. You know, and then, I mean, it was just appalling. I found it to be some of the most disrespectful behavior I've ever seen in my life. You know, it's okay to have an argument. I'm not saying that you need to agree with family, like, all the time. But, literally, I mean, disrespecting your mother like that, I was just, I was just shocked. So that's why Blueface made number four. 
Now we're going to get into the craziest incidents of 2019. And they need no introduction. Number three. Jesse Smollett, former star of Empire, and quite truthfully, this man is just so, so, so cute. So cute. I was a huge, huge Empire fan of his. I thought having him on the show with Taraji and Terrence really added to the atmosphere of just unbelievable talent. However, he embattled himself in a situation that he didn't need to. And let me tell you guys what happened. During the polar vortex back in, I believe, February, where it was literally probably could have been minus 20 outside. He said he was going to Subway around 2 in the morning. And when he was leaving the Subway, going back to his apartment, uh, he was brutally beat up by two Donald Trump fans wearing MAGA hats, Make America Great Again hats. They threw bleach on him. They pretty much tried to rough him up because he is, um, you know, different. Meaning he's, um, he likes other men. So, this story gained traction fast. Celebrities were coming out to support him. Cast coming out to support him. He was garnering a lot of attention. Everybody was shocked. However, this story was false. He made it up. He paid two extras that worked on the set of Empire to concoct this story and beat him up. <coughs> I had to cough, excuse me. It stunned his fans. It stunned me. It stunned everybody. There was a lot of police resources put into this. There was a lot of man hours spent on this. And the most ironic thing was that the lo local Chicago prosecutor ended up dropping a case. Now, I believe the federal government was trying to pick up the case. And the last thing I had actually heard about this was that uh, the city of Chicago was actually suing him in order to get back the money they spent on the man hours looking for the attackers. And quite truthfully, this is another super sad story. In my opinion, I was hurt and appalled. I still don't understand why he did this. He definitely had fans. Everybody loved him. In fact, this was the first and only time I had actually ever heard anything bad about Jesse Smollett. And it was just completely and utterly shocking. But even with this huge shock, this still was not number one. So let's go to number two. And if you hadn't guessed yet, R. Kelly is number two. R. Kelly was arrested on charges of allegations that he did a lot of bad stuff to young women. Several dozen young women. He is currently being held without bond. He currently has several charges pending against him. I'm not going to say that this story was a complete shock, but I find this to be completely sad. Sad that, <coughs> excuse me, I had to cough, I have like a little cold here. It's extremely sad that someone would use their power and position to gain favor over young women that probably did not have all the wherewithal to understand that they were being um, violated, per se. I'm glad that he is locked up. The amount of women that actually came out was very alarming to me. It almost seemed like R. Kelly was seriously a monster. I mean, let's just call it the way it is. Simply a monster 
This story was absolutely disgusting to me. Sad. And hopefully justice will be served. And on to our number one crazy story gift that can be given. Antonio Brown. The NFL player that is seeming to have a mental collapse as we speak. This man has been on at least four or five different teams in a matter of 12 months, which honestly I must say is pretty much unprecedented. I, 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 I have not seen precedent this before. He threw furniture off of his condo balcony. He has alleged to have beat up his baby mother, you know, more than once. He's called, you know, his coaches, team owners, various racist things. Uh, it's just been very belligerent, wild, crazy behavior. Currently, he's he is without a team. He's a really, really good. I uh, believe he's a wide receiver. Really good wide receiver. This man needs help. He has been embattled in so many stories. And even as of a few days ago, tried out for, um, I believe, the Saints to the chagrin of a lot of people. Now, thankfully, the Saints said they were not going to pick him up. But his behavior, even on social media, his post, his outlook on just everything is just so negative and so evil. Like, I, I just cannot believe that this, this man has had such a breakdown as he's had. And it's honestly sad to watch. I truly hope Antonio Brown gets some sort of help. Because he truly does need it. And even though he is a gifted football player, you know, gifted doesn't mean you can't have mental issues. So that's basically my top 10 list. Did these people make your list? I would love to hear your comments. I can be found on Twitter at Love Radio 44132. Like, share, and sub, and don't forget to donate. Until the next video and podcast, thank you guys for listening to Love and Other Problems. Enjoy your night.